everyone. The Air Force's sixth generation fighters have been in the news many times, but no one is talking about the Navy's fighters. The Jet Project, which will probably be better than the Indonesian Navy's NGAD even today, is proposing a budget of $9 billion for this new jet by 2024. This huge amount surprises many people. The Navy's fighter jet program was starting to bother us. Intrigued by what a great machine it was, planned to be built on such a budget. There is a lot to discover about this. The Navy project is shrouded in secrecy, but rumors have circulated about what it will be used for and why it will be. Growing amidst all the rumors we've had, we've picked out the facts and we'll share these with you as we go along. Join us as we explore U.S. reality, testing a $9 billion fighter, the Air Force's secretive sixth generation jet. This sixth generation is the result of the development of the NGAD Stealth Fighter, which flew much earlier than expected. However, there is something else in the works that is just as powerful and even more powerful. The Navy's Fax Strike Fighter, which is expensive, is part of the Next Generation program. The program shares a name and several subsystems with the Air Force's effort to develop a new air superiority fighter. However, these programs are very different with each branch developing its own. Advanced aircraft to meet its unique needs. This range of requirements is a top priority for the Navy, along with speed and weapons. This carrying capacity is highlighted in Naval Aviation Vision. The 2030-2035 document released in October 2021 emphasizes the need for longer time, passive sensor range, greater speed, technology, and the ability to employ long-range weapons. Before we dive into the importance of these needs, let's explore what UNGAD is. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall has highlighted the importance of NGAD platforms in air dominance. He emphasized that this cutting-edge technology is a significant improvement over the F-22 that it will eventually replace. Engad is designed to have increased lethality and the ability to operate effectively in intense competition, as well as ensure its survivability, adaptability, and interoperability in the air domain. Most of the details about Engad's invitation to the industry remain classified, it is important to understand what differentiates one generation of fighter from another, especially when identifying the NGAD as a sixth generation fighter. Caitlin Lee a senior fellow at the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies, underscored that describing the NGAD as a sixth-generation fighter marks a significant advance in capabilities, which is critical to addressing the evolving threats of the modern age. On July 1st, Lockheed Martin celebrated the 80th anniversary of Skunk Works, its famous division, on its official Instagram account. They post images of legendary aircraft developed by Skunk Works over the years, such as the U-2 Spy, the SR-71 Blackbird, the F-117 Nighthawk, and the F-22 Raptor. However, the final image is unlike any jet they've released before. Since rumors about it emerged, some people believe the power of this attractive and futuristic image is the image of the sixth generation. This aircraft is currently under development as part of the NJD program. Engad is a sixth-generation American with a mission to create a family of next-generation systems that will ensure air superiority for U.S. forces, even in the most challenging operations. This family includes new sensors, weapons, 
unmanned aerial vehicles and other cutting-edge technologies. Let's check its capabilities. Stealth was a game-changer that emerged just a generation ago and has already proven essential. According to the Air Force's biannual acquisition report covering fiscal years 2019 and 2020, stealth technology is the new foundation for NGAD fighters. This capability is driven by the NGAD fighter to exceed the limits of stealth technology with its unique triangular shape, internal payload storage, and absence of the traditional tail section, also known as a vertical stabilizer. This innovative design distinguishes it as the first fighter in history to reveal a revolutionary approach. Historically, vertical stabilizers were important for keeping aircraft in the air. Until the $2 billion B-2 Spirit introduced the concept of active flow control. Learning from decades of aviation history, the United States understands, there is always room for improvement, no matter how advanced an aircraft is. The most advanced sensors and weapons developed in the United States offer maximum connectivity. In part, that's because the Air Force has moved away from traditional radar systems mounted on the outside of aircraft. They opted instead for an intelligent state-of-the-art skin that is integrated and electronically configured into the fuselage. This ensures that information collected by a fighter's sensors can be shared in real time with other friendly aircraft, regardless of their generation. Regarding the NGAD fighter's arsenal, this aircraft is ready to carry a variety of weapons, including missiles, bombs, sophisticated American weapons, and laser-directed energy weapons. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall III has also announced that each NGAD fighter will be accompanied by two loyal drone wingmen ready to carry out missions as directed by the manned fighter aircraft. These capabilities are undeniably impressive. About the facts designed to operate alongside and eventually replace the Fe 18 Super Hornet, set to push the boundaries of carrier launched aircraft stealth. Although many of the specific details may not be available, both industry and Pentagon weapons developers have discussed a variety of potential operational requirements, concepts, and technologies that might impact the Navy's development. 